Welcome to Henry Clay and the American System Study Guide. Henry Clay had a great ability to find compromise when others could not. Because of his ability to find these compromises in difficult situations, he became known as the Great Compromiser. After the Tariff of 1816, the South was very unhappy. The tariff made the goods that they imported from Europe more expensive and therefore was costing them money, while the North, on the other hand, was being protected and actually making money because of the tariff. People were buying American. The South also felt that the North and the government, Congress, did not care whether they were happy or not and could not care less if these tariffs were having a negative impact on their southern economy. These feelings were causing something called sectionalism, which is a split in the country between the people living in the north, the people living in the south, and the people living in the west. Sectionalism is when people are more loyal to the section of the country they live in than they are to the country as a whole. That causes problems when you're one united country and some of your people are only concerned about what's happening to them rather than what's happening to the country. The American system was a plan designed to strengthen and unify the nation and hopefully deal with some of these issues about sectionalism. The plan was suggested by Henry Clay and supported by the Whig Party, including people like John C. Calhoun. The plan included support of a high protective tariff to keep all public land prices high so when they were sold they could generate federal revenue which meant money, income, keep a Bank of the United States, the first Bank of the United States charter had expired. So they had to make the decision whether to create a second Bank of the United States or to give up on it and stick only with the state and local banks. And finally, the plan suggested developing a system of internal improvements like roads, bridges, canals, and railroads that would help unite the country together and because people would now be able to transport themselves and goods between all three sections more easily and more quickly, they hoped that people begin to feel more like a single country rather than three isolated sections. Now these improvements were going to be quite expensive and so the suggestion was that the extra revenue from the high tariff and the money made from the selling the land would be used to finance these improvements. Not everybody was excited about the idea of the American system. So Clay discussed and argued with people over it and as he was making his arguments in support of his system and the tariff especially, he explained to the people in the West that they should support these tariffs because the Northerners consumed the food that the Westerners sent them. So if the Northerners had more money then that would be more money to go to the West when they bought their food. The South was really against this tariff. We talked about how they felt like the North didn't care about them. So when he talked to the Southerners, he told them that they should support the tariff because the North was a ready market for their cotton. Despite the fact that there was a lot of bickering and fighting between the three sections and a lot of jealousy over who was getting special treatment, Congress did enact parts of the American system. The whole plan was never approved, but pieces of it were approved. The charter for a second bank of the United States, the high tariffs on imported and exported goods. What didn't happen was the internal improvements. There was never quite enough money they never quite got the appropriations from Congress to be able to effectively complete the entire road system that Henry Clay had envisioned. Yes, we did build roads, canals, railroads, all of that, but a lot of the money came from the states or came from private investors, and that was not what the original plan was. A lot of the reason that the 
American system didn't work and was never actually put into place was because of all the sectional jealousies. It's very hard to appease and make people happy when they're constantly bickering and feeling like they're not getting what they want. And so despite the fact that the American system as a whole plan didn't work, Many of the parts of the American system were applied and did help to build somewhat of an infrastructure for connecting the three sections of the United States. And now you know a little bit about the American system and Henry Clay.